You don't really stop and think about why half the population of the planet is wearing them on any given day. We just are. Jeans are the quintessential American garment. But it's always the same story. It's about the cowboys in the West. It's about Levi Strauss and the, the gold rush. And yet so much of the story we tell about jeans is a myth. The new documentary riveted the history of jeans as the untold story of denim from the early civil rights movement to Woodstock to hip hop. Annalise Strachan is the documentary's director. She joins us live. Thanks for being Good with morning. us. Thank you. So this is true. We automatically think Levi's, we think cowboys, but the origins of uh, jeans uh, dates back to the, much before that. Talk about the history. Absolutely. I mean, what we found in doing this documentary is that the history of jeans is so much richer than we ever imagined. I mean, people think of just Levi Strauss, Cowboys, Marlon Brando, but I mean, even just denim workwear itself, I mean, goes back decades before Levi Strauss. I mean, American slaves were wearing something, a precursor to denim known as slave cloth, for instance. So why did Levi Strauss get all the credit? What did he do that was different? <laughs> I think he was a genius at marketing. Yeah. Why, why were the rivets such a big, what was the necessity of that? Oh, rivets were certainly a game changer. And the story that people, a lot of folks don't know is that this man named Jacob Davis, a tailor in Nevada, actually invented the rivets as we now know them. I mean, they were a structural game changer. They really hold pants together in a way that never were before. How did this transition from, you know, uh, or uh, from, from, you know, cowboys wearing them, from, from, you know, and then into like wealthier populations wearing them. Yeah, absolutely. Up until about the 1930s, denim was strictly workwear. It was something that manual laborers all over the United States wore. And women were really a big part of the story here. They took denim from function to fashion. I mean, it really happened with the transition with the dude ranches and women, wealthy women from the East, wearing these souvenirs and then taking them back East. And there was a trickle down effect. Um, that's a part of the story that's usually left out. At some point, were these considered unsavory, and what made that change? Yeah, yes, definitely. Um, after World War II, a lot of American soldiers came back wearing denim. It was part of the, you know, what they wore off duty, on duty, and some of them just didn't want to take them off. They didn't want to enter the nine to five lifestyle, and they stuck in the denim and joined biker gangs. And then denim got a bad rap. Uh. With and they became sort of part of the unsavory youth culture. And uh, the denim companies look to try to squash that and try to regain this wholesome image in the 60s. So when did this, uh, this happen where, you know, we have those iconic jeans commercials in the 1980s? When did it become high fashion? In the 70s, really. 70s. In the disco era. Yeah, that's when, that's when kind of the fashion, you know, with the capital F as we know it, really started in the 70s when you had runway and denim, you know, starting out in the runway with Cal Calvin Klein, you know, that's when it became a glamorous item. Well, for more, you can check out PBS.org or follow the American Experience on social media. Uh, Anna, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you.